Okay guys, welcome to yet another video on this channel. So as the title says, how to retire a millionaire, the roadmap to financial freedom. Now by no means am I a millionaire yet, but this is the roadmap that I'm going to take. And what I'm telling you is exactly the plan I have for myself. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. You're definitely going to learn something that you do not know before now. If you're new to this channel, on this channel we cover everything business and finance related, how to make money online, review businesses, websites and apps. And finally, we train one or two videos about investment and personal finance. So if all that sounds good to you, then go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and the notification bell so I can be informed anytime we drop a new video. At the time of making this video, this is December the 25th, 2020. So I decided to create this video as a Christmas video for my subscribers and viewers. And it's different from the kind of content you usually see on this channel. But I think it's going to be beneficial to a lot of people that are going to see this video. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you three steps that you can follow that will almost guarantee that you retire a millionaire, hopefully before you get to your 60s. I'm well aware that most of the viewers on this channel are between the ages of 25 to 40. So if you're 40, do not worry. This strategy works and it is a strategy I'm definitely going to use. The first step is to get a financial education. Now, before I continue, these three strategies are strategies that I have come up with on my own based on my observations of the world around me. And I am very, very confident in this strategy. So the very first one is get a financial education. And this may seem cliche or unimportant, but truly it is actually the most important step in retiring a millionaire. And I will explain why. Take a look at all the millionaires and billionaires we have in the world today. Most of them have financial degrees. Either they have a business administration degree or they have a degree in economics or they have a degree in something finance related. Take Elon Musk, for example. Elon Musk has a master's in economics. Most of you are watching this video from Nigeria, so you definitely know the likes of Dangote and Mike Adenuga or Tony Elumelu. All these guys have financial degrees. Dangote has a degree in business administration. So also does Mike Adenuga. All of them have financial degrees. I have studied a couple of world billionaires and I found that a good number of them have financial degrees. So I really think getting a financial degree is very, very important. But even if you cannot get a financial degree, don't worry, I got you covered. Aside a financial degree, if you do not want to get a financial degree, the next best thing you want to do is to read books. I have not seen Anybody who reads a lot of books and isn't very, very successful. A lot of the very successful people like Elon Musk, like Warren Buffett and his best friend Charlie Munger, these guys read every single day. And there's something that really does you. It rewires your brain. Recently, I've been reading Mastery by Robert Greene. And reading that book changed my mind on what I wanted to do in my master's program. It may seem as if reading does not really improve your life right off the bat, but it kind of steers your life in a little different direction. And you know, a one degree offset might not seem so much in the beginning, but after like a hundred meters, you find out that a one degree offset has actually caused a very, very huge distance from the original line. And this is what reading does for you. It changes your life little by little. But in the long run, it compounds and you just find out that your life is massively way different from what it would have been if you hadn't read any books at all. So if you haven't read Mastery by Robert Grimm, I highly suggest you check it out. And that book that really opened my eyes is High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Become That Way by Brian Bouchard. I also made a video about this book. Do check it out. It's going to be linked in the description box below and in the eye above. Aside that, a couple of other books that are really, really interesting you might want to read are The Millionaire Next Door. The biography of Elon Musk, Investing for Dummies, The One Page Financial Plan, Power of Positive Thinking, Start With Why, The Lean Startup, Awaken the Giant Within. There are so many good books. And if you do not want to get a financial degree, I suggest you focus on books that teach financial education, marketing, and sales. I think these are the most important ones. You can find a ton of them online. That's number one, getting a financial education. The second one is enter the online space. This one cannot be overemphasized. It doesn't matter whether you have an education or not. If you want to be a tailor, if you want to be a photographer, it doesn't matter what you want to be. You need to move that your business online because in the next 10 to 20 years, traditional businesses in stores will be completely eradicated from the marketplace. All stores or marketplaces will go online so if you have a business it is a very smart move to start trying to move it online and even if you do not have a business at all you maybe you're an academic like i am then what you want to do is to start an online business it is very important you really do not want to have one source of income or one side also if you're an academic maybe you're working at a job or whatever you need to have an extra source of income coming in and if you do not know any online business that you can put your legs into don't worry i got you covered so the first one you can try is print on demand. There's a video on print on demand on this channel. And aside this video on this channel, you'll find a lot of tutorial videos on print on demand on YouTube. So the general idea of print on demand is just for you to make designs that can be printed on shirts and mugs and face masks. 
anything you can think about okay so just upload those designs and when somebody buys a shirt or mug or face mask without your design the product is shipped to the customer and then you get your own cuts so it's really that simple and it requires zero upfront payments or costs so all you just need to do is to create these designs and upload and then push traffic to your store and then see how things go so that's print on demand in a nutshell i'm not yet into print on demand but it is in my plans for 2021 so the second one is affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing is very very broad but if you want to start with affiliate marketing a good place to start is clickbank clickbank is as far as i know the biggest affiliate marketplace in the world behind clickbank then you can have digistore 24 and JVZO and the rest of them. But Clickbank is where you really want to start from if you want to start making money from affiliate marketing. And again, there are tons of Clickbank tutorials on YouTube. I personally, I recently started on Clickbank and I will be posting my earnings and my journey on Clickbank on this channel. So if you would enjoy that, be sure to stay tuned and that will be coming your way hopefully early 2021. All right. So aside affiliate marketing, there you have e-commerce where you sell your own products or you sell other people's products or you, you buy things cheap and then you sell them expensive. Then I would be an absolute liar if I do not mention YouTube. I think YouTube is one really good way of making money online and YouTube pays really well. I think in the long run, YouTube has the potential of giving way more money than all the rest of them. Let's take Graham Stephen's channel, for example. He has over 2 million subscribers and he pulls in $250,000 from ad revenue alone on his channel per month. $250,000, I mean, that's a whole lot of money in my currency. So YouTube revenue is the bomb. If you have passion for making videos or you feel like you want to get yourself out there, you want to spread your message to people, I think YouTube is a very, very good platform where you can do that and you will get paid. I think that is a bonus. And the good thing about YouTube revenue is it comes in every day. It's, it's pretty much passive. A few months back, when I wasn't posting very frequently on this channel, for about a month, I wasn't posting. But during that one month period, this channel was still earning some amount of money, albeit very little, like 2 to $3 every day. But it was consistent, 2 to $3 every day, even though we hadn't been posting on this channel for over a month. So YouTube is really good. If you'd like to see videos on how to start a YouTube channel, how to make money on YouTube, Little, little things about YouTube, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll make one, two or three videos pointing you in a few directions of how to make money on YouTube if you will want that kind of content. One more thing I need to mention about YouTube is you need to build content around what you love because YouTube is very competitive and it's really time consuming. It takes a lot of hours to create and edit videos. Only a YouTuber will understand what I'm saying. So if you create content around things that you do not love, then you are most likely to give up even before you reach the threshold for monetization on YouTube. I personally am in love with everything money, finance, making money online, passive income, investing. This is something that I have as my passion aside civil engineering. So creating a YouTube channel around this topic seems like something I can give my life to. And that is why it was easy to go on with this channel and not give up. So it's very important to create content around what you love so that you don't give up when times become hard because time will eventually get hard, I can assure you. But if you are creating content around what you love, then you'll be able to overcome those periods of difficulty and your channel will eventually actually bloom and you get to the point where you're making 10k 20k 30k dollars per month a lot of channels are doing that so that is not an outrageous amount of money in fact the biggest channels on youtube like mr beast and t-series and those very very big channels get up to a million dollars a month too 30 40 thousand dollars is not an exceptional amount of money to make on youtube some channels make up to one million dollars a month on youtube so think of it in that light and if you enjoy making content then try out youtube so with all that said this leads me to the third point which is invest the money you don't want to make all the money in the world spend it and then start afresh to make all the money in the world that's not a smart way to make money when you make money the next best thing to do is to invest that money and again the only place that i know that it's safe to invest your money is in the stock market well except you want to be a hedge fund manager or you're really savvy when it comes to investments but aside that if you just want to play things safe then you can use apps like Robinhood or Weibo and invest in stocks or mutual funds like S&P 500 and you just get a 7% interest on your investments yearly i know it seems like a long time 7% yearly but it is consistent and it is a lifetime earning. So let's say you're able to put in $10 million in the stock market. That would mean that every year you get out $700,000. And $700,000 is more than enough money to carry you for years. So imagine if you can just dump in $10 million into the stock market and every year you can get out $700,000, which can last you, I mean, forever, for a lifetime. Even if you get old and you pass away, your children can continue benefiting from their passive income. So that's how amazing the stock market is. And it's an absolute no-brainer for anybody to start considering putting their money into the stock market no matter how old you are. And then the last point I want to give in this video, if I end this video, is you need to be 
more than average if the average man works eight hours a day and you also work eight hours a day then you can expect that you make an average income you just be where the rest of the world is a lot of people in the world are just average so the people that are really really rich with the exception of those that were born into wealth Many of them really worked really, really hard. Like Elon Musk works 100 hours a week. I mean, that's a lot of hours put into working. If you enter the online space, you need to make sure that you are above average. In everything you are doing, you need to make sure that you are above average. And slowly, you just see things snowballing and you just find yourself growing at an amazing pace. Things really add up. So just to summarize, the first thing you need to do is to get a financial education. Either you go to school and get it or you read books. Most reading books, very, very important. The second thing is to enter the online space. Join those that are making money online. Start a business, start a blog, start a website, do print on demand, have an e-commerce store, do affiliate marketing, have a YouTube channel, it doesn't matter what it is. Start it today and in some five, six years, you'll be amazed at how much money that can bring to you. And then when you have all that money, carry it and invest it into the stock market so that it can become true passive income. And then if you have invested up to $10 million in the stock market, even if you invested only $5 million in the stock market, $350,000 per year is still way more than the average salary of a civil engineer in the United States. Someone that is earning $350,000 in passive income is not doing any work at all because person has done the work up front and put all that money in the stock market. So invest in the stock market or let me say invest your money. It could be in real estate, wherever. You just make sure you invest your money. And then the last one is make sure that in all you do, be more than average. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you want to see more unscripted videos like this one, let me know. So I wish all my viewers Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you are seeing this video beyond Christmas, then I wish you Merry Christmas in areas and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.